welcome to a hands-on comprehensive guide by Nerex on how to populate your cap with optodes. To follow along with this guide, you will need a cap with a montage made that fits your participant, the optode bundles, spring tops, a green velcro strap, and potentially some black cable ties. Note that in this tutorial, we will show you how to apply the optodes using spring tops. However, if you're working with a prefrontal montage or with a population with little to no hair, you might want to consider using AC rubber grommets instead. If you have purchased an accelerometer with your system and your montage includes it, now is the time to install the AC rubber grommet that holds the accelerometer in place onto the cap. Locate on near site where the accelerometer is placed in your montage, denoted as a green circle, and identify its location on the cap. To install the AC rubber grommet, you need to guide the grommet base with the protrusion through the slit from the inside of the cap. You need to then snap one of the retaining rubber rings onto the protrusion from the outside of the cap to keep the grommet in place. Now, to begin populating, start by placing your cap on a mannequin head. Note that the cap should be pre-assembled according to your specific montage. This includes the placement of grommets and labels in the correct location as well as any short distance detectors and cable trees. Locate the package of spring tops sent to you by Nerex. Each spring top is labeled on the top with its spring tension ranging from 1 to 3. These markings indicate the level of downward force applied by the spring inside the cap to the optode, with 3 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. There are also spring tops with no spring inside, which are marked with the 0 on top. These can be used over areas without hair. Nerex provides suggested guidelines for spring cap tension usage based on protocol duration and optode location on the cap. However, deciding which spring top to use at each optode location is subjective for each participant. Consider factors such as the participant's hair density and length. Once you have decided on which spring cap tension to use for your montage, it's time to begin populating your cap. We start by populating the first optode onto the cap. When doing so, keep in mind that sources are always marked in red and detectors in blue, both on your cap and in the bundle. Make sure to match the number printed on the optode with the number label on the cap, and place the optode tip in the opening of the corresponding grommet as shown. Then. Place a spring top of the appropriate tension on top. The spring top will click into the grommet base when properly inserted. If you're having trouble inserting the spring top, try to apply some pressure on the base of the spring top to insert it into the grommet more easily. You must also place the optode wire into a cable tree and ensure that there is enough slack in the wire between the cable tree and the optode by inserting the wire into one of the thin slots on the cable tree. This might require a bit of force, but don't worry, our cables are Kevlar reinforced, so this will not cause any damage. Again, keep in mind that you want slack between the cable tree and the optode, since this will protect the optode from movement of the cable tree, which can be caused by a pull on the descending cables due to participant movement. If this is not respected, the optode itself is more prone to moving out of place or tilting, which can introduce artifacts into your data. Spike and baseline shift motion artifacts can occur when an optode's contact with the scalp changes during recording. Populate four sources or four detectors at a time, after each bundle of four optodes, slide the cable tie towards the cable tree to create a tight organized bundle of cables. Repeat the steps to insert the remaining optodes, ensuring proper slack is given to each optode. Once finished populating, to distribute the weight of the descending wires and preserve signal quality throughout your experiment, clip the green velcro strap to the back of the cap. Bundle and attach the wires to the back of the cap using the velcro strap. You can also use the provided black cable tie organizers to tie the cables together. This is particularly handy in setups with higher optode counts to keep things organized. To check if your cable management successfully withstands moderate cable movement, tilt the green velcro clip up and down. If enough slack is provided, there may be movement in the wires below the cable tree. However, the positions of the optodes should remain stable throughout the movement. To correct any moving optodes, add more slack and retest. Now onto the accelerometer. The accelerometer is attached to the detector bundle. It looks very similar to an optode, but is labeled with an A instead of a number. To install, push the accelerometer into the opening of the AC grommet. If the AC grommet is brand new, it might be a bit tight. In this case, it can help to angle the accelerometer when inserting it. You can then guide the accelerometer cable through the green velcro strap as well. Note that when removing the accelerometer from the cap, you should never pull on the cable but rather wiggle the head of the accelerometer until it comes loose. This may require just as much force as it did when inserting it. Congratulations, you've now populated your Nerex cap with optodes.